right now we're going to do some butternut F1s from Wilkinson's paid £1.50 for them this time I'm going to try and make sure I don't destroy the bottom of the packet because in previous times I've normally just ripped them out don't worry about it Use a pair of these just to take it off. And these are the seeds. These are the seeds. Don't get that many for what it is really. Let's see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant up six cells this time. Nice big cells. This tray thing I'm actually using, I actually got from a skip. There's a hairdresser's what shut down and it's one of their hair wash basins. I thought mm, that'd do. Compost I'm using is seeds compost. A little bit not very good, it's a little bit lumpy. I'm liking. What I've got to do. <laughs> down get the dibber just a couple of inches down I normally do so normally it's planted on its side so you get the seeds, you plant it on its side. So if you plant it in, say like that, the seed has no way to escape to the sun when you have a funny looking plant or you won't have germination. So that's six seeds. That's left me with two seeds, so what I'm gonna do is Put them in there, none germinate. If a couple of them don't germinate, I'll just change over, stick one of the spare seeds in there. But what we're going to do now is just get a little bit of compost, put that over the top. And that's your butternut son. So we'll spray of water. And there we are. Uh, they should be ready about September, October or November time. Fantastic storing veg for the winter. And then that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.